Hi, welcome to Sending Home. This is Vicki. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And today I'm going to go over the my recent purchase of Sassy Girl Aroma. And these are just this is vendor wax. And I've kind of always put off buying vendor wax because of the experience I had with Zape. Um, bath. I mean, they are very good as far as the wax melts and that sort of stuff, but it does take time to cure, and I'm just very impatient. But um, these here from Sassy Girl, they seem, they smell strong right off the bat. So I'm hoping, you know, they said I spoke to the owner, I believe. I left her, I sent her a uh, DM, and she said this you can just cure for like two to four weeks, and they should be good to go. But they look like they were ready to go now because they're very highly, highly fragrant. Okay. And the first one I'm going to talk about is this one here, the little horse or unicorn. I think it's a unicorn. And this one is um, called Berries and Bulgarian Rose type. And here is the package that it came in. And the notes on that is going to be a beautiful composition of roses, berries, currants, and... God, I understand that. Spiced greens, I think. Spiced greens. And this one I'm telling you this right now, this one's just like a true true rose like a like a rose perfume oh my gosh it smells so good oh. and this is a lot of wax like this is this gonna you know like it's like how thick it is and this this is gonna be like at least six chunks i think so if i were to cut them that sort of stuff and this smells so good i love the packaging i love the little um unicorn i love the color these are just so pretty just to display they're so adorable and this one is the bulgarian the berries in bulgarian rose that one is that and this one here is going to be this one here, and this is the Rock and Rose. I see, you know, you, you can see a theme here. I'm into like roses right now, and I guess for the spring. And this one is going to be very hard for me to read because the, the description is so tiny. But I'll try to read as much as I can. <clears throat> it says, um, it says a fabulous, a fabulous rose mixed with subtle hints of white musk and hints of musky musky woods with I don't know that word whispers of jasmine sandalwood sugary vanilla citrus and bottom notes of tonka bean it smells really good this is this one right here look how pretty that is it looks like a little donut like little sprinkles it's like you get a pretty good amount uh, in this one as well I say like this can make about six cubes here and the other one so that's 12 cubes and these are like 325 I believe they were very very reasonably priced and this one smells, oh my gosh, it smells like a perfume that I know, but I, I can't put my finger on it, but it's a, it's like a perfumey rose. It's a perfumey rose. It's more perfumey than this one here. This one's more like a fresh cut rose perfume, if that makes sense. But this one's a little bit more um, fresh. This one's a little bit more richer and warm. It smells like a perfume. It smells like a, an amazing perfume. Like like a dry down when it dries down like it's got already got maybe there's a little bit of musk there I think yeah this it it has musk in there oh my gosh it's like oh it's so good it smells amazing okay and the next one is going to be misbehaving I believe yeah misbehaving and this one is going to be um, the notes on that one is going to be a tantalizing aroma of sweet juicy candied apples pomegranate with nuances of fresh ivy and I don't know what that word is. Oak moss. Oak moss. Okay. And this one, oh my god, this one smells really good too. I love this one. This one's kind of like a lavender um, wax melt and it's got the little sprinkles as well. Oh my gosh, this smells like a lot. This is really, really fruity. This is way, probably the fruitiest one of all these. And it smells fresh, like a fresh fruit. I don't know what kind of, what fruits are on here. What they say? Um... A sweet juicy candy yeah candied apples for sure pomegranate yes oh my god this one smells so so good I love this one misbehaving <clears throat> excuse me and that one's really good I'm going to let, I'm going to let them cure for like a, about a month and then I'll give you the performance of the sassy girl I will give you two um, opinion as far as a month if that's good enough as far as the cure time and then I got two boxes of this which is the Emily I can't show you here um Emily Gilmore. I'm going to show you from up here. Anyways, it's called Emily Gilmore. Right there. And this, these are the bags of chunks. And I think this one costs like $9.99 or $8 or something like that. It's a really good deal because you get a lot, a lot of chunks in there. A lot of wax. And this one, the description is going to be... Um, I could probably show you what the descriptions are. It says it's... Um, 
juicy berries, melon, apple blossom, and sweet florals. And to me, this smells a lot like, um, what is it called? This smells a lot like, oh my gosh, what is it called? It's, um, love spell or love? Yeah, love, I don't remember, I can't even remember now. Um, the one from, um, Victoria's Secret, love spell, I think. That's the reason I didn't like the other candle from Walmart. I mean, not that, not, not that I didn't like it, but it's just that I have so much now. I have all these chunks, and I was like, I don't need any more um, of that sweet. Oh my gosh, what was the name of it? So, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. It smells exactly like that. from Love Spell, yeah, Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. But it just smells a little bit more juicier, a little bit more fruitier, and it's not quite as, um, I don't know, the other one is a little sharp. This is not, this is very, very sweet and very juicy and very fruity. Oh my gosh. This is very, very good. I'm glad I got two bags. And these don't even look, none of these need, like, they don't feel like, or they don't smell like they need to be cured. But I'm going to do that because, you know, I want to get the right effect or the right um, performance. And this one is, and these are big chunks. And I get, like, about, how many chunks are in here? Four. There's six chunks in there. So that's a lot, a lot of wax for $9. I think it was, like, $9. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And it, it was less than that, nine or less, and I mean like eight or nine. It's really good. See how I get my nails? No, I don't think so. And I mean, this smells so good. Oh, I wish you could smell it. I wish there was like smell of vision or something. It smells amazing. So, so good. And like I said, I'm going to um, wait for these to cure. I'm going to wait a month, maybe like um, the end of May. I'll go ahead and melt these. I'm going to put it on my calendar. Because I'm really, really anxious to melt these because these smell so good. And then once I get the performance, I'll let you know the exact uh, performance as far as throw and then the peel. And then, you know, there's how long they last, that sort of stuff, okay? So anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. And um, But I did want to show you a little thing that I bought from Target. I just have to show you because it's super cute. You know, I love animals. This one here is a little, little um, picture. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little elephant. I don't want to move this because it's, it's fire, you know? And... Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little elephant picture up there. The little strawberries in the... Oh, there's raspberries in the background. Oh, my God. It's so cute. And I got it for $6. $6 at Target. Super cute. Super cute. It just has a lot of character. And elephants, um, you know, are all good luck when the trunk is up. As I was told um, when I was a child, you know, with my mom. Um, she loved elephants. She would always collect those ivory ones and, yeah, all that stuff. But, yeah. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. And bye.